Let's go for the pick and bands. I'll hide the camera so you guys can see the whole team. It looks like the band down there is Lawali. If you guys can't see it behind the logo. Mario Kart is my size as much name. There we go. The Mario Kart is the is a classic, right? But hey, we saw how effective this Gario did against the likes of Lulu. How well would it fare against Trotter? You know, Trotter not working with any of the band Temtem. So if Trotter wins, he will be taking home the double digits. And hey, Snow, what's going on? Is Temadome weekly or every other week? So hey, Snow, to be perfectly honest with you, it's kind of up in the air. I, I think I probably should make it a weekly thing at this point. <laughs> that way people aren't guessing when I'm going to be hosting them. But yeah, Snow, bear with me. I'm just getting back into the whole swing of things. So for sure, I definitely want to shoot for a weekly Temadome. Uh, so yeah, Snow, the short story, short answer is it should be. It should be. Well, right now, it is not. Uh, but I definitely aspire to have it a weekly thing. So hopefully soon enough. Hopefully I should have it. But yeah, chat, I, what day should I notify you guys of the band? So, hey, like Lulu and Rishi, since you guys aren't playing right now, and anyone in the Temadome right now, when would you guys want to receive the news of, like, what's going to be banned so that maybe you guys could start prepping the teams? Do you guys want me to uh, put the ban list on Monday, and then maybe we do the Temadome, um, like, on Wednesday or Thursday or something like that? Been a while was the rules for the dome uh so yeah legacy those are the short rules for the dome uh but today we're introducing three bands we had spun the wheel filled with 10 op temtems uh and the wheel today landed on yowler rotor and minotaur but because the bands were short notice i didn't want to do hardcore bands so it's kind of pseudo bands if you don't play it i gave you double the rewards if you do play it you just get normal rewards so legacy let me know if that makes sense i could explain it a little bit more it's just wager battles people wager some pants suns. i go ahead and match it winner takes all an awesome legacy but here we go we said air surfer one win away uh, and it's looking like a good one here let's give him the temadome hat but let's check the back line first though hey where's my back line there it goes all right, man, this Dracash feeling a little bit rough against Gary O'Calibus, but of course against the mix in the center of not feeling too bad at all. I mean, both tamers have the tools, as you guys know, I always say, right? The tools in the toolbox, they both have enough to get the job done. It just comes down to these plays. Those temps could just sleep around. You never know if they belong to one tamer. I see, I see Mario Kart. <laughs> I mean, I kind of like the Mario Kart now. <laughs> Here we go. Reading the water cannon coming in. Well read. Quetzalenio, where we're going. It looks like the Calibus too. So beautiful read coming out from Air Surfer. This is going to be taking a big old chunk. And when I say chunk, I'm talking about 84. Or apologies, 89.4% damage. Absolutely incredible there. Is second Gario? <laughs> yeah, the Cario, right? Cario, Cario, uh, low key Cario. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what it is. Is hardcore caring air surfer. So man, Gario packs such a punch, right? Cold Geyser was the best technique to be uh, to come to Gario, right? And you know, with air surfer playing it so well, I kind of want to play a Gario in the future too. But let's see, now Air Surfer does have a better board. Not too much damage, able to come out of Trotter's current state. So let's see what Trotter potentially could swap into. The Vol uh, excuse me, the Barnchi in the back doesn't feel that bad. The only thing I'm a little bit worried about, chat, how is Trotter dealing with the Gario? Hey, Charter, did you screw up a little bit? Let's see, though. Jinx Whisper could be away, but is going into the Calibus, of course. And nice little flood. Lowering those defenses by, or apologies, the speed by 50% on both of these Thames. And cool little, uh, cool little thing. E shot on the, on the Alhi. Alhi. 
So let's see. Gario no longer bamboozles. So potentially able to take two techniques here. Maybe something like a tornado. Maybe something like a matter teleport coming in. Or what else can the Alhi throw? I I usually only see it press two buttons, right? It's either Hypno, Quetzalcoatl, Matter Teleport, and that's it. What else can the Alhi dish out? Hey, Mar, is Gario has low special attack, so Flood won't do as much damage. I don't think it does any damage, right? I think it's just uh, it's just a speed control. Did I broke the bamboos and slept the Gary? Wow, Trotter, that would have been epic too. Yep, yep, yep. But you know, you didn't know he was going to swap the Calibus. It could have been assumed, but we didn't know for certainty. But it, it did look possible. And man, out here just getting a little rest here. But hey, potentially eating a double up swap into the mix. Maybe trying to get in Puppet Master chat. Let's go ahead and find out. Turbo coming back on the speed train. So neutralizing the speed. Matter Teleport should be doing about like 30% or so, depending on how it's built. Yeah, right around 30%. Nah, Flood is a damage new. It's just low. Wait, Mart, are you sure? Because Barnchi is still at 100%. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, chat. Does Flood do damage? I don't think it does, right? Barnchi would have taken at least 0.1%. Uh, I, the only reason I say it doesn't do damage is because Barnchi is still full HP and it ate the Flood, right? And hey, I know, Mark, you're trolling me. You're trolling me. You said trust, trust. <laughs> I got it. I got you. Yeah, Stone. I mean, we literally just witnessed it ourselves, right? So I think I think we just believe what we're seeing for with our own eyes. <laughs> so hey, we'll keep it there, chat. So interesting enough, the mix is here. Mix with the three priority might just be able to outspeed unless you get the neutral synergy. Oh, no, I don't think he even had a neutral temp temp, but let's see. Is there a world where this Quetzalcoatl could come into the mix's spot? No, even nip a little bit too fast. And hey, Lucas, Flood actually damages morale. I see, Lucas. There we go. Well said, well said. Uh, it's why morale boosting whip gets plus speed. I gotcha. I gotcha, Lucas. So kind of giving us some lore into the competitive techniques, eh? <laughs> yeah, that kind of makes sense, right? It damages morale. Which is the opposite, like the morale boosting whip. Uh, and yeah, Mar, he's on top of the meta game for sure, for sure. But now, you know, I really like this swap out from Air Surfer. He's really playing pretty bright here. He knows that, you know, Mix is going to be staying on the board. So retreating the Calibus, even though it didn't necessarily have to leave, it wasn't threatened out by any way. But having this Calibus in the back line now makes Trotter really have to think about is the mix going to stay in or is it just going to be replaced by the Calibus, right? So this was really bright by Air Surfer. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm getting a bit tired, Nuss. Okay, and hey, Nuss, apologies. You know, I didn't know we were going to have this many players today. So hey, Nuss, hopefully the next one, all right? But hey, Nuss, if you're calling it a day, if you're heading to bed, you have a wonderful night. And I appreciate you tuning in, of course. And this was intended for the mix, but not doing very much. Barely, barely doing that 17%. Next one, good luck and everyone left. Yeah, no, good luck to everyone remaining. And yeah, Erdnos, if you're heading out of here, you have a good one. I'll see you around. So, of course, chat, this heat wave, the Drakash, feeling the pressure from things like that cold geyser. So, Drakash might easily be becoming that Yukama, perhaps. But, all right. Mudra's swapping out. Boranchi's swapping in. Is Drakash just going to stay in? I didn't think so, right? Yukama comes in to eat that water technique.
And man, this Voldemort HKS is going to be packing such a punch. Let's see. And noise. Air Surfer playing so bright, chat. <laughs> <laughs> even convincing me that this is not you know his first couple days here you know he said he has been playing a lot of youtube so hey maybe he's been checking out our tournaments on youtube over here <laughs> <laughs> and hey you know observational learning is one of the best ways to learn right so hey he's just been learning by watching uh and yeah learning on the fly knowing that you know Drakash most likely to be leaving uh goes for the other spot instead so really uh, really really smart of him and you know perhaps air surfer has pokemon competitive background what you know we never thought about that chat what if air surfer was a pro pokemon player and hey kego what's going on uh and hey kego are you talking german to me hey kego you know i don't know how to read that if anyone wants to uh interpret what he's saying <laughs> uh and yeah yeah turby magnus carlson the best chess player in the world huh can i get those youtube videos i watched some on my tmr drop instead hey mar if you want to check out the tournaments i just uploaded one about an hour and a half ago hit exclamation point yt it'll take you right there all right here we go he said the hks is gonna pack a punch the barnchi taking half of the remaining hp This should be knocking down the Volrin, going all the way down to zero. So big old tornado. Water cannon should be catching the mix here. Should not put it in Puppet Master range, but enough to do aquatic whirlwind. And hey, Trevor, the first one. But hey, no one is perfect, chat. Or maybe he has a whole plan in mind. Let's go ahead and see you. So I think this still is still a good game, right? But I love that Trotter is keeping these two Temptems in the back line just for the Zenrib, just for the mix. But you know, on that same thought, Gario's just chilling in the background as well, right? Gario does pack a punch to both of these guys. Uh, the YouTube video showed him how to get out of this pickled trust. And yeah, Marv, we'll see, we'll see. Uh, and hey, WSND, do you do you speak German yourself? Plus OP is streaming again. Crazy shit. I love it. Oh, appreciate you, Kego. Hey, welcome on through, Kego. You know, if I could speak every language, that would be awesome. But man, I'm not Subaki. <laughs> Subaki is the only one that, uh, you know, speaks like a hundred languages. Uh, I only know Spanish, chat. If you guys talk to me in Spanish, I could definitely understand. And you know, even sometimes I can't even understand Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> but there we go aquatic whirlwind taking down the mix before the sea spikes the windburst is knocking in the calibers under that 50 percent range and you know with that with the mix getting knocked out there it's gonna be tough and hey as soon hombre <laughs> turby i believe that just means you're a man <laughs> <laughs> but it might have a different meaning in spain chat because the spain spanish is a little bit different than the south american spanish uh but yeah wrong spot or no right spot for trotter but oh wrong spot for air server maybe the the toxic ink was supposed to be for the barnchy true 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 hey yeah Trevor, you only know that hey that's better than most people right <laughs> <laughs> Better than you know, you're already ahead of the curve, Turby. But hey, slowly but surely, it looks like it's slipping out of Air Surfer's grass. Is Trotter with the you know, he had a blunder turn one, but ever since then, he's been turning up the pace. The crystal spike gonna be aiding handedly from this Mashuk. And I know I said Mashuk, but I definitely meant Mudrid. <laughs> All right, Yukama does find the end to his days. So let's see what he has in the back line. Barnchi doesn't feel all that bad if you think you get outspeed the Zenrith. But maybe, I mean, you have to pick your poison, either Barnchi or Drakash. Oh, you know, chat, Gario might be winning this chat. <laughs> Gario might be winning this if he's able to kill the bird. I don't see how Drakash and Mudrid can deal with the Gario. 
and reiner appreciate that yeah wasd told me what he said but appreciate you reiner yeah brutal it looks like it looks like gario might be looking good and yo pickety pack what is good brother tv train leveling some tens before i hop to kisi wall so interesting to see how other tens are used exactly piggy pack you're more than welcome to spectate uh and yeah see how some of these temptems are being used but the crystal deluge with the synergy gonna be sleeping the zenerith Oh, but it has bait. Wait a second. The bait on the center. If that is big pog. Crystal spike taking down the Borgy. Guys, Air Surfer is insane. <laughs> Guys, Air Surfer is like the best new player I've ever witnessed in my life. <laughs> Sheesh, chat. Yeah, that bait was tremendous. Tremendous, tremendous. Man, what a spice, chat. What a spice. How do you know to run bait on Zenrif, right? Because, I mean, I guess, you know, to be fair, Zenrif is the stamina guzzler. So bait is a good item for him. Crystal Spike just to do a little bit of chip damage. But the cold geyser should be doing enough. Soul Steam, not enough. But, oh, on the Zenrif, of course, this should be enough. But surviving by a hair. Dirt Cash, have a good day almost living because of the burn but just not enough gario and the zener of looking like they might have enough to take it down and yeah trotter the bait was the winning play if you crystal deluge and the barnchy stayed alive you definitely had it in the bag uh but yeah trotter bait coming in incredible So, chat, we have our first champion here today, and his name is Air Surfer. <laughs> chat, can we get some people clap, people clap. Our first Tema Dome champion locking in the championship finals is... Thank you.